the dark aftermath of TikTok fame. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Huge trends hit the internet and the NPC TikTokers were born. I'll get up and Nancy gave you 360 for a galaxy. <laughs> Think about an ice cream. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Fire, fire. come to a point in time you sit back and you reflect on the past as well as the present you can project the future and see where we're headed I'm grateful for everything trust me I come from from nothing I know a lot of people like to say that because it's the most We all respect it when you literally come from nothing and now you're at this from point A to point Z, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm grateful for everything. Um, but the other half of me, I be damn secondhand embarrassment. I be having spectator mode embarrassment. Like who is creating these people, bro? You can't tell me these people aren't created in a lab. You mean to tell me both of your parents came together And conceived your weird stupid ass like that's insane to me like let's go back look at this bitch bro this shit just got on my nerves look I'll get up and Nancy gave you 360 for a galaxy <laughs> and this nigga too again I'm not the one to tell someone what they deserve all I can do is tell you what you deserve from me, which is nothing. But the Georgia guy stones need to come to fruition. Didn't they destroy it like a year and some change ago? They wanted to reduce the population to however many numbers. I'm f I agree with it. Get the rocks. I agree with them. Because the populace all together as a collective it's like a 40 iq they dumb deaf and blind one of the two two of the three all three i will argue most are all three after all they say two thirds won't make it in your holios biblios your bible your son book and that's very true and it ain't no rebooting them i will not let you swoop around and collect their reboot card i'm sending you back to the lobby with no materials as well spectator mode indefinitely where you will roam earth forever as a ghost where your purpose will consist of nothing more but opening and shutting cabinets because this is ridiculous why is these people here they can't spawn about nothing pro it's not procreating it's recessive creating they need deletion you mean to tell these weak weird cringy recessive ass genes is creating other kids that's going to be placeholders that still want to be up to two-thirds that's bots and if we was to ever go to war or anything like we're laid out we're soggy bread right now you got all these different sects of division but at the same time i feel like division is inevitable the sun is separating us a lot of y'all ain't gonna know what i'm talking about but you got it's just too much going on you got npcs and you got other npcs calling npcs npcs you got Transformers, you got Kid Transformer Decepticons, you got LGBTQ candidates, the one marching said they're coming for your children, you got motherfuckers jab, and ain't nobody speaking on it now, but yeah, it was mandated at, mandated at a point in time, like, you still occupied at your occupation, your purpose is nothing, you're useless, job is a fine as public business for private dishonest gain, why you at your job? Is someone behind the scenes privately eating private parts gaining dishonestly off your hard work and labor your key is going missing every 30 to 40 seconds more than 800,000 kids go missing annually in the United States alone 
What's happening to them kids is horrendous, atrocious. You ever seen Hostel 1, 2, and 3, Quentin Tarantino? All that's happening and some more. Bestiality, the ones that fly the Instagram and Florence model thoughts out and they letting their camels get some camels, huh? Gilgamesh is eating them. And I came attack on Titan type figures, giants, narwhal, spirits, fairies. It's crazy because it's like you see everything, you know of all these things, and you know the average person are dumbass. So you a dumbass until you prove yourself otherwise. And I'm big enough to apologize about it if you never were, but still, I'd rather judge something off rip and opposed to just looking past that and something happening and. No, but this is insane. I look at all this shit, it's like it's too much going on in my head, and it's too many updates and patch notes here on earth. Some people need to be uninstalled. Why is these around? You mean to tell me it's people doing this and it's aliens walking around this bitch? Look at this. Thank you for the ice cream. Spicy. I hope he's a virgin still. What bitch let him fuck? Bitch, you should be ashamed of yourself. And, and his dad and mom. His father that never came back after he got the milk. Cause this shit is insane, bro. Again, I'm grateful for everything. But sometimes I'd be like, bro, what the fuck? Like, let's continue though. <sighs> this is all for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for Super Jail. Spicy, spicy! Fire. Fire. I'm a fat cow. La, 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 la. So these people basically go on TikTok Live and react to all the different donation emojis that people are sending in. They have these quote-unquote pre-programmed reactions to the different symbols, and that's how they bait people into donating. Actually, that is essentially the entire point of the show. Now, why someone would sit around watching this stuff all day, I really do not know. And while I do generally detest this activity, I do have to hand it to the person who came up with the idea because they did indeed find the infinite money glitch. Or at least so they thought. Don't get me wrong, a few of these people like Pinky Doll are still going strong, raking in tens of thousands of dollars a month and continuing to do their TikTok thing. I actually tuned into her live stream today, you know, to do some research, and this is the masterpiece that I witnessed. <laughs> Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Listen, that, man. Nah, you nah, 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 volume. For her, I think it really helps that she has detoured into other types of content successfully, you know, so she doesn't lose her mind. But for others, things are not exactly going to plan. And it seems that months of acting as a TikTok NPC is really starting to catch up to some of these individuals from a psychological standpoint. Today we'll specifically be narrowing in on a guy who dresses up as Spider-Man, more specifically Miles Morales, who has gotten quite popular. Just picture the loading screen in an old Spider-Man game or DVD set, and that's exactly what he does. What's going on, man? Hey, it's me, Miles. Alright, uh... I don't think I should use that right now. That sounds pretty dangerous. Those smell amazing. Thanks! What, what the fuck are you talking about, man? And recently this... Wish one of my soul called niggas, wish one of my soul called niggas, wish one of my soul called niggas need a shell from the clip. Always knew I had to smoke y'all niggas. <sighs> bro, this shit is not funny, bro. This life thing, what is going on, bro? It's not interesting anymore, like. The fuck is going on? Shit is weird, odd, cringy, gay, incest, molesting, pedophilia, beastie out. That's all, bro. You 
ever look at an ant hill and you wondering what the fuck they doing and then you just looking like these are a bunch of retarded ass insects the aliens got to be looking at humans the same way you mean to tell me bro like i get it inflation is a motherfucker they inflated the numbers your government's supposed to work for you under a hundred families not nah, around 100 families that's controlling what eight billion people that in itself guys the magnitude it's it's a hundred families that's controlling over eight billion people that should tell everybody even a the even a motherfucker that's stuck in a chair like this that should tell stephen Hawking descendants as well somebody stupid i'm talking about when you going outside and you go wherever you went for however nine times out of ten they are idiot so it's like you got people on here being npcs i know money's scarce and they feel like this is a cheat code to rake it to get the money but all just to pay for poison gmo foods and all that that's tampered with by the fda and all of them and consume it what you eat you are that's a real say so and it's a real thing what you eat you become you embody the essence the energy of the animal the fear it felt before that or whatever it is or if you eat in dead food like if you cook it over a certain temperature you you take the life out of it on a molecular struct on a molecular molecular level so it's like you fucked up you chemically imbalanced you miseducated you misdirected they feed you propaganda epigenetic trauma society is bullshit so therefore you see it everybody else doing it so it must be okay you placebo and manifest and materialize and actualize and manifest a fucked up life as a collective because most people are bots If I ever had a kid and I seen him watching one of them, I ain't even gonna see it. Let's continue, man. This Miles Morales has been crashing out a whole lot. There's 11,000 people in here. There's 11,000 people in here. And you guys are not tapping the screen. Okay, make sure that you're tapping the screen. There's 11,000 people in here. There's 11,000 fucking people in here, okay? Tap the goddamn screen, okay? This is mental illness. This is... This is the ramifications of chemical castration. That's what it is. He, something is imbalanced. The left hit hemisphere and the right hemisphere, his corporal colossus is fucked up. This is crazy. This is, this is insane. He's sweating. Talking about tap this, <laughs> bro. We we have to be close to an ending. We have to be a close to an ending. Cause how how more absurd can things really get? How absurd can things really get? How much more control can a government get over the populace? Like how much more like? not getting any smarter the people that smart or got the highest of iqs isn't subjected to the poison we're subjected to they in places where it isn't no chemtrails and they ain't consuming gmos because they work for the elitists and they need them people to really think and to be smart and create and innovate so they're not going to bestow the same poisons among them so they can Nah, it's for them to be the best, but they're working for the bad guys. It's like, so I guess you can say they smart, but the general populace, you're not getting any smarter. In fact, you're declining. Let's continue. I want to finish this video.
Tap the goddamn screen. Okay, you see this button right here? Press the fucking button. Okay, press the fucking button. Thanks, Safala. You guys are amazing. <laughs> To see him go from being so frustrated and mad over people not donating and liking his stream to going right back into the NPC character is honestly just kind of sad to see. I mean, imagine doing any of this for a year straight and I think it would be enough to drive any man crazy. Just stop, please. Like, I'm not joking, bro. I'm not joking, bro. So sadly, it appears that this guy really is in a bad place. You know, this whole situation is probably a dream for anyone who doesn't want to work a regular 9 to 5. And the prospect of making tens of thousands of dollars just to do something as simple as this probably sounds great on paper. But I just feel like at this point, this man absolutely dreads the time of the day where he's supposed to go live. I want to go home. I want to go to sleep. 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 I want to go to bed. Spider-Man's been protecting the city for a long time. I think it's about time for me to go home. I try to be respectful, but you guys are really starting to piss me off. <laughs> Listen, all I know is this man always looks sweaty and tired as fuck. And I do think for him, it really does not help that he's constantly filming in the streets of New York City. Like, I get that it's part of the bit. Like, at least for a lot of these people, they get to do this shit in the comfort of their own home. And I do feel like him having to do this out in public really just adds a whole nother layer of bullshit. I mean, I also saw this clip where the police were giving him a pretty hard time. He was supposed to teach Sir, me everything, you know. You're being trespassed. I'm being trespassed? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you want to take my name? Yes, please. Cool. Do you have an ID on you? Yeah, I have an ID. Where'd you guys? Where's my bat? Uh, it's over here for our safety. Okay, I'm gonna use my lightsaber. You shouldn't touch my stuff, man. Hey, you guys. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> and it seems like he's constantly dealing with annoying outside influences on stream. Like most recently when he apparently got robbed on TikTok Live. You won! You won! You won! As you guys know, last night, I got f***ing robbed. F***ing robbed! I'm gonna try to do this in one take because I'm really angry right now. I'm, I'm really f***ing angry right now. It seems like the same type of niggas that are supposed to support you, bro, don't f***ing support you, bro. It be your own f***ing people, bro. Your own f***ing people with you bro i mean yeah like i said him going out in public where people can clearly see his backgrounds okay a lot of people are going to be able to pinpoint his location in a place as popular as new york is a total detriment to not only his mental health but also a huge safety risk and i know a lot of people out there will probably just say oh you know he should just quit he should just go get a normal job and i just don't think those I get you say somebody got to work their job. Somebody got to get me my coffee. Someone got to make me my burger. I get that. Um, but to the ones that are saying get a real job, all this is by design. The government that's showing you all this, you look at social media, you see somebody that look like they're having an amazing life and you reflect and you feel like yours ain't shit. So you feel like you ain't shit in comparison to them. So you want things and then you try to take easier routes to obtain and then just know this generation now, what is they, Gen Z or whatever? They see this and they know what they want. Well, some of them don't know what they want, but they know they don't want to be plugged in at a job. On top of at a job, in nine to five, you still can't afford shit at a nine to five. And that's bot shit. This whole construct need to completely be deleted. People in different civilizations and what you call aliens, they're not doing this. They're fucking not doing this, bro. Earth literally, without a hand being here, is going to be fruitful. It's going to be land. It's going to be water that isn't tampered with. It's going to be fresh air that isn't what chemtrails and particulates. It's going to be full growing area where everything that's edible in nature and non-GMO. They go and spray shit and fuck up everything and then after that, collect the seeds and do whatever. They poison it. And then put it in a stores and you're forced to buy poison from them. 
when you're supposed to be able to just pick and grab what you want out of nature for free and it's alive and it heals and helps your body and holistic healing like this shit is insane bro what's going on i don't blame this generation coming up they see what everything what the highest of highs of what life got to offer they see the cast and that's the actual speeds and, the, and they know what they want to be they seen what their parents was and how depressed they was and how they ain't have enough time for them so they feel neglected and they act out in different ways because of this construct that doesn't work you can't blame them for not wanting to work they ain't got to get you your coffee bitch i don't know how they get in their coffee on pluto but nonetheless just because somebody oh for me to get my burger somebody gotta flip it bitch you flip your own burger i don't care who it is i know we all enjoy the convenience of people's ignorance i would be a hypocrite if i said i didn't even just with these things that's made with energy a transfer of energy which is true currency the actual person that made this so it's like i get that but still though it gotta be some middle ground to this shit what half you got duty or purpose or whatever you good at and you do for society to contribute at the end the other half you should be able to attend and work on the things that matter most go on within at the end your family and what you genuinely love and like to do and what's your um hobbies or whatever like they ain't even got the time they ain't even got the time the leisure and they should be afforded that after all it's their life they should be afforded the leisure the reparations to go and undergo neuroplasticity to affirmate to go and meditate to rewrite and change their dna due to what happened to their ancestors due epigenetic trauma they can't even fucking do that this shit is insane i feel sorry for this miles morales nigga for i ain't even laughing at him like he the butt of the joke i see it's his fault to a degree because after all we control our own analog right but still those like some people don't have no internal dialogue they ain't got no how is they may be perceiving me shit how do i perceive myself do i respect myself for to just be out doing this bot shit is insane i'll be mad as fuck if i was somebody key and i look up and that was your past and i seen my parents on there doing npc shit i'll be mad as fuck life is a joke bro this shit is a joke it can't get any more absurd i've seen it all you got the dark side of things actually on the dark way of things that's actually real that people deem is conspiratorial and the people you think you supposedly supposed to look up to lying to you and just roping you in to get money from you to test on you or whatever whether that's the pharmaceuticals and with your doc they don't really tell you what's going on a doctor really righteous they gonna tell you okay i don't want to see you back in this office you're in here because of the following your blood work shows this it's all because of what you ingesting and other further contributors is what you think so it plays into your subconscious you actualize manifest placebo and materialize and actualize a reality for yourself that you don't want on a metaphysical level that you don't understand so this is what you need to do they're not going to do that because then they will be put out of their jobs they just as guilty too everybody need to catch this bullet it only take this motherfucker need a ricochet off a light pole off a lamp post and hit everybody that's bro this is all for entertainment purposes only i help make episodes for south park but at the end of this at the end of the day bro just looking at looking at the shit i'm, I'm just really disappointed though i just be disappointed i'd be embarrassed i'd be appalled i'd be disgusted this shit gotta change, bro. You mean to tell me all this shit going on? This motherfucker's out here slipping on banana peels. Everybody else receiving karma except for the government. And UFOs just shooting past and they ain't coming down here to do nothing. But at the same time, I can't blame them. If I was them, would I really come down here too? Well, a bunch of violent monkeys? I wouldn't. That's a contradiction in itself. I feel some type of way about them not helping. But at the same time, if it was me, I probably wouldn't. I'll probably dial in on specific people like Homeland Security. And if I see a light or something special in them, I'll come to them about something. And get my ass right back on my air shuttle and get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Let's continue, man. Does people really see how vicious of a cycle doing anything on the internet for a living can actually be for a person? And how scary it can be to step away from this type of opportunity, even though a lot so of- everybody that's saying get a real job, may your bitch ass get eviscerated. 
people probably think it's dumb what he's doing. The man has obviously made a lot of money doing it. And I'm really trying not to dislike certain types of people, bro. I'm really trying not to, bro. But literally, I cannot do this shit no more, bro. I'm trying to be the best streamer. I feel you, Miles Morales. I feel you. It's like that Kanye, what Kanye said. I think he said he don't like people, but he love for them. Like he got love for them, meaning may you get what you want out of life. As long as it ain't me, though. Or nothing by me. But may you get what you want out of life. I feel the same way. Like, it's like I, I, I don't like people. I'm not going to lie. By default, I don't. But at the same time, I have love and value and appreciation for all life. So it's like, yeah, may you get what you want out of life. What you need, most importantly. But. All this shit is crazy, bro. We feed into the propaganda. People controlling the narrative, man. They literally perceptionalizing us in a light that isn't in favor of us. To what people got their preconceived notions of us. Due to how they due to how they depicted us and how they advertised us. And people pick up on it and they perceive it to be the way they intended them to see it. Down to the the, the Drake shit. Nigga been working hard 15 years plus of being a soundtrack to your life. And you wonder why he doing shit that's still, I guess, like teenager nowadays or whatever. Similar like Mike Jackson, Michael Jackson, I guess. It's like you spent all your time into this thing and people so ungrateful and unappreciative. And you ain't really get to live your life and do what you wanted to. So it's like now you making up for lost time. But just to see how they switched on him. I mean, it's always been around since the... Even before the Leopold days and the 48 Laws of Power and shit that exceed that, it's like, it's always been a thing. If somebody went it for so long, you got the populace that look at it. It's like, yeah, at the point in time, they raised you up there, but now they tired of you winning. They can't identify with greatness. They have never obtained anything even remotely noticeable for someone to even care enough to talk shit about them. And then it's like they try, they build you up just to tear you down. Like 15 years a little, you know what it take to even, just don't fathom it. But they don't give a fuck, they just want the end product and they steal shit on it. And, but to be doing that for 15 years and to see how people just switch on you like that. I mean, I seen the even with Wayne too from being at the highest of highs at a point in time and then now they like, fans ain't shit. Fuck the populace, the consensus, fuck the whole family tree, all that shit like. I see it for what it is. I, I don't blame the Jay-Z's and the people that get their money. They put their message out there whenever they feel they need to. And they just make sure them and they good. Because that's the best thing you can do is make sure your household straight. And you will invertly or indirectly be helping everyone else out. But like, bro, this shit is insane, bro. I can't believe it. The shit I just be seeing and hearing. I'm like, bro. like, And you mean to tell me we signed up? for this shit before coming to earth you not finna tell me that bro let's continue for you guys bro my dream is to be one of the best content creators do youtube do twitch do any all this shit right and i can't do that when you guys are with me every fucking time I go fucking live, bro. I mean, that's also the curse of becoming more and more popular, is there's obviously this increased chance of people trying to f your shit up. And it's probably extra hard for someone like this because I feel like he is likely on the precipice of gaining enough wealth from this venture to where he doesn't even think about other jobs or alternate routes his life could go. But maybe he's not quite making enough money where the ends always justify the means. Like I saw this interview with him where he was talking about how women NPC TikTokers apparently make a lot more money. They get a lot more donations. If you're a guy doing it, you make significantly less money. So if you hear like a lot of crazy numbers um, from these girls, well, you know why. Um, but yeah, I'm a guy, so I'm, I make a little bit less, but you know, it's still decent. It's still enough to like, yeah. where I don't, I, I probably don't need to work a regular job. And it also seems like at least at that time, you know, he was hard pressed to crack four or $5,000 a month, which obviously in New York city, that's not going to go very far. And of nope. course there's rumors out there that he's making like $20,000 a stream. You know, those people are always full of shit. I don't know what I'm doing to get all this hate. I'm just trying to be the best streamer, bro. I fuck with y'all that help me, man. But I don't think I can take
take this shit, nigga. I mean, yeah, you really have to... Bro, if you got a kid or somebody out there, I know you occupied at your occupation. I know you occupied at your occupation, but if you got a kid out there, you need to watch what they doing. It's even adults doing it. It's adult, like... I don't fuck with this shit either. I don't like that NPC shit. The, I never went to the actual page. I never went to they shit and commented something. I never did that. First of all, you would never find a hater doing better than you. I just don't get that. I really don't get that. You really don't like something. If I don't like something, I don't click on it. I'm not subscribed. You will not get my time. I can't get my time back. My time is most precious and value to me. It's a billionaire, a multi-billionaire. And you can be 20 years old. He can be 76. He will give you all his wealth in exchange for your time. Because he know, he know what he know already. He can become that multi-billionaire again just in five years or less. And he'll have the time to actually enjoy. So it's like, yeah, my, my time is most precious to me. So it's like, that in itself, that's another factor. You know how I was telling you, the populace is either dumb, deaf, or blind. They dumb masses. That shows it. Everybody got haters in comment sections, right? You can be doing anything. This is what you decide to do with your time? If I had a kid and I seen them watching one of them, I'm beating his ass to no return. He's not going to recover like Devin Haney. Better yet, if I seen them watching somebody... And he literally just hating on somebody and contributing to pretentious. Mental illness to someone else. I will whoop his ass to no return. Even though I know he's not going to be like that. I'm picking the future mother of my children based off as if I was the son I'm having. On top, I did what I needed to do. Neuroplasticity underwent my affirmations. Rewrote my DNA. Still is. So it's like I ain't got no trauma, no baggage, and I ain't butt broke. I ain't got no hate or resentment to somebody because what they did or what I didn't have growing up that I felt I should have had. So, yeah, I'm not mixing with that. So I already know that's not even going to consist of my kid genetic composition, that weak, weird, recessive, cringy, lame, hating shit. I don't fuck with it. Miles Morales, I'm t may you get what you need out of life and you find peace. I know some days I get on here joking about shit or whatever, but at other times it's like, nah, may you really get what you need because this shit is crazy. I know, bro. It's most hard. Damn all Madden, but we're going to go with that. It's on all Madden for you so-called black man, even though we're clearly not black. But it's that hard for you because you got things too that other races ain't got that you born with that isn't fair to them, but you got it. You got that advantage as well, just like you got this advantage just because you ain't born with the sentence to win within the fines of this construct, not to their level. You're going to have to do something super crazy or even it's going to have to be amplified, enchanted to reach a level of. But yes, yeah, positives that come with this shit, but negatives as well. And... Yeah, this shit, it's tough. May you get what you want and need out of life for sure Because this shit is insane I get it, trust me, I get it I ain't finna be on here doing no NPC shit Because I feel like I'm me I'm aware of myself and I'm aware of others I don't want my self-likeness to be in the light that isn't me And that's cringy or odd or weird to me I'm not one of those, I've never been, I never will be <laughs> But let's continue feel for the guy he's obviously wearing his heart on his sleeve here and i have to think that this is very similar to the life of damn near any street performer you know like when you go to new orleans or las vegas or any other major city i just get the feeling that those guys have always lived pretty hard lives and there's obviously a lot of bad shit that can happen to you out there here he apparently shared his villain origin story on tiktok and uh i have to say it gets pretty dark you know it always starts with a girl and a dark-haired goth girl at that. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no. 
Nah, man. He's on that Slim Shady shit. I was literally just about to say, bitch, I'ma kill you. I ain't finished. This ain't the course. I ain't even drug you in a woods yet to paint the forest. I'ma kill this bitch until the spirit lifts a spiritless out of body experience. I don't blame you. If I was, this is all for entertainment purposes only, bro. Let's continue. And then I saw people online saying that this apparently isn't even the first time that he crashed out. I don't know how many of you remember this clip from three years back where this Domino's delivery driver lost his mind over not getting a tip. But people are now claiming that this is the same guy. No! Bro, just calm down. You only got to take one more delivery. I don't want to work here anymore! Five minutes! Five minutes out there in the rain! And no tip! No Holy shit. <laughs> what the f I mean, all I gotta say is I hope this guy has enough money saved up where he can make- And it's like, NPCs can deal with those jobs, but when you know what I know, bro, when you know what I know, when you know you indigenous and aboriginal to the land, when you know motherfuckers keep saying, do aliens exist? It ain't the matter if alien exists. They here, colonizer motherfuckers. And it's not skin color, it's genetics. I don't have none of them monkey genetics and none of that weird shit. You may have antigens on your blood due to rape and all the other shit that happened back then, but antigens on your blood, it's a difference. It's not the same. So it's like when you know what I know down to the curriculum and how they get you and the end of that, the Black Wall Street when they was doing good and it was other Black Wall Street like places and they drowned them out and they ain't get reparated for that. And then you see these people acting crazy and very animalistic now they actions reflect you so when i see these people the so-called black people that do these things or whatever i still look at you because you're the reason for this you never existed they're still being vermanas pyramids by obelisks and monuments still and knowing thyself with a native language and tongue so it's like when you know all of what i know and then you worked at some job and then you know one of the owners is a colonizer for real one of those and and you getting paid little to no money, and they just up the inflation whenever they feel they so want. To. At the end of dysfunction, you come from, and then it's still in you, and you don't know what's wrong with you. You can't even articulate yourself, or expressing how you feel. Like, I get that when you know that, and you work at these jobs, but that shit is different, bro. It's different. But if you a regular NPC, you probably feel like, uh, or you can deal with it, whatever. But when you know what I know, you can't deal with that shit, bro. It's like some days you feel like, bro. Now, would I be wrong if I come in this bitch with a minigun and Fortnite? Some days it felt like that, though, and I can't blame them. They entitled to how they feel, but what make them so much strong is that all the shit you dealt with and the shit you still deal with and you still don't act on it. When if you was to go to the other side after this life, they wouldn't even blame you due to what you come from. And, and they surprise you ain't click out like it's deserving. I believe in the alpha both of your eyes if you did it on purpose, motherfucker. You did it on purpose. This shit is insane, dog. Like, I trust me, I, I know that feeling. I worked at Amazon before. I'm looking like, man. And then it's Jeff Bezos or whoever owned this company. Well, these colonizing motherfuckers. Shit, on the clock I was sitting down eating. I wasn't even working. You got me fucked up. See, if somebody got to do it, everybody got to die, but I ain't everybody. Have you ever heard of an ascended master? They walk amongst us. You would never know, though. If I had the philosopher's stone, not to say I don't, I wouldn't share it, not even with my own mother. People are not worthy of holding something, something like that. They're not, because you see how people is. Gossipy, pillow talking to them hoes on the bed with no pillows and everything. Like, maybe get the mental health he needs personally when i was a little bit younger in my 20s i used to be someone that had a very short fuse i would have a hard time dealing with my emotions and a lot of times i didn't know what else to do but explode kind of like this guy is doing in this video but the thing is guys blame. eventually you have to learn to deal with yourself and you don't want to lose your mind every time things are going wrong in your life because it just puts you in a very vulnerable position I don't know, I just see this as yet another example of how everyone wants these, like, new age, internet jobs. But in a lot of ways, they're not always all they're cracked up to be. I don't think that being quote-unquote internet famous or having real fame 
is nearly as fun as it was in the past. So I don't know, I just That's think all fact. this type of shit can definitely be a double-edged sword. And the other thing is, once the movement kind of moves on, I mean, TikTok like, might even get banned altogether. Kind of like, what are you going to do after that? You kind of have to plan your safety net. It's something I'll think about all the time because, you know, eventually I am going to retire, at least from doing this. But luckily for me, it's been quite the fun ride. Yeah, I've had my uncertainties here and there, but... I wouldn't change the way anything has gone for the world. Y'all let me know what you guys think about this. What do you think about TikTok as a whole? What do you think about these NPC characters? Are That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe. Hold on. Are they genius? Turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching like how one of these NPC streamers be. But nah, all, all jokes aside, may y'all get what y'all need out of life, most importantly. like This shit is, bro, we already at the... <sighs> Damn the precipice of a decline how much lower can we go i don't see how much lower this shit can go bro like i'll see you on the next video man i'm out